Hello folks, this is Detroit Miracle, yes indeed. You know, down here, people want perfection. They want the highest standards of excellence in all areas, in every area. This is how men and women are, and they want the best for their families, of course. They want their communities to be at best, and they want people to behave as they should behave so that we could get rid of all that crime and corruption and filth and things like that. Just say like people all want that in general, even the ones that don't acknowledge that they want it or do not yet know they want it. They want it. It's like something in man, mankind that is, that automatically wants things to be 100% good. 100% great and that means for themselves and hey there's no reason why no one else shouldn't have a great quality of life on the 100 but people in general certainly want that for themselves and their families why not but in all actuality as you live your life and you live long enough you'll find out that you're not going to get 100% quality on every single thing and and with you being in regards to wanting perfection and things like that if you can't provide that for yourself then you can't expect others to give that to you like perfection is something you got to make for yourself it's got to be a built standard of excellence that you model yourself after you live by you set examples for it and you inspire others with it that's something altogether different from wanting 100 percent quality yeah folks now with the you expecting things to be 100 percent terrific in every areas in all actuality you might get about 75 percent that way you might get 80% maybe, but to expect 100% of excellence from every single thing that you partake in is, is not going to happen. But it's something that we can keep hope of as far as that quality being there for us sometime, you know, even if we don't get it then and there, we might get it eventually, like it will be around for us and we can keep hope of that. Um, when I say that as far as quality, when people want 100% in all actuality, they might only receive about 75% or sometimes less than that. That means when you go get a used car, you expect that car to hold up for years. You expect the car to get you from point A to point B and even to point C, if it is a point C of a destination and you expect the car to run good from what you pay for it. You say, hey, if I pay $4,000 for it, I expect it to run good at least a few years. That's, that's what you expect. Like you're not expecting 100% quality off of that forever, but you expect 100% good quality for a few years. But then come to find out you might not even get that because that car might have problems in the first year and it might cause you to have to put it in the shop and go through changes and wait on it and wait on parts to come back and then when you get it fixed something else breaks down so it's like something like that will bring you back down to earth it will bring you to reality and let you know that look you're here and this is the situation now there are a lot of great things here but you can't expect great quality with everything you purchase and everything you do because you're not going to get it every time so you have to settle for less hey if it's good enough if it's high up on the scale like in the 70s maybe coming close to 80 then yeah that's not bad but to just expect 100 percent every time it's not going to happen unless we all make it happen you know it me that means people in general that means if they work to improve the social condition the personal condition 
the lavish condition, the accommodating condition of all mankind everywhere, then you can guarantee more perfection in what you're getting or not just perfection you can guarantee 100 percent quality because like i said perfection is something different altogether. like you go into somebody else expecting them to be perfect and provide you with that perfection when you can't do it yourself is expecting and asking a bit much of that person or those people in general folks yeah well Thanks for hanging out with me in the sun. And I'd appreciate it if you would give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to me, Detroit Miracle.